Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Sachin Sharma, JR3, and I'll be presenting a case series on benign ovarian cystic lesions. Introduction Adnexal cystic uh, masses can be broadly classified as ovarian and extra ovarian. The most commonly uh, encountered extra ovarian masses are overwhelmingly benign, including hydrocelpings, hematocelpings, para ovarian, paratubal cysts, and peritoneal inclusion cysts. Ultrasonography remains the primary modality of choice for evaluating pelvic masses due to its easy availability, high sensitivity, cost effectiveness and lack of ionizing radiation. Transvaginal ultrasonography also remains helpful in uh, differentiating various simple benign entities from intermediate or malignant lesions. Color Doppler has been uh, proposed in differentiating benign from malignant neoplasms based on the fact that uh, neo malignant neoplasms usually have a low resistive index. A resistive index of less than 0 0.4 and a pulsatility index of less than 1.0 uh, are considered suspicious of malignancy. However, due to overlap of these findings in benign and malignant neoplasms, the clinical utility of Doppler imaging is limited. Overall, ultrasound uh, has variable sensitivity and specificity for identifying and characterizing borderline or malignant lesions, which may partly be attributed uh, to operator dependency and or patient's body habitus. Benign cystic adnexal lesions, uh, physiological, these are uh, functional or uh, hemorrhagic cysts, PCOS slash MFOS, endometrioma, cyst adenoma, uh, including serous or uh, mucinous, ovarian cystadenofibroma, mature cystic teratoma. Case 1, a 52-year-old female came to the Department of Radio Diagnosis with large lump in right alic fossa since 2 months. She also had complaints of dull abdominal pain radiating to back. Her KFT and LFT were within normal limits. Imaging findings, uh, transabdominal and TVS sonography uh, revealed a well-defined heterogeneously hyperechoic uh, lesion in right adnexal region showing minimal vascularity and a focus of calcification. Minimal uh, paraovarian free fluid was noted. Right ovary could not be delineated clearly and uh, left ovary was normal. This is the hyperechoic lesion. Uh, CT findings. A well-defined non-enhancing cystic uh, lesion with fat density seen in the right adnexal region with a calcific focus uh, that is likely tooth. This is the lesion. Fairly well-defined heterogeneous but predominantly T2 hyperintense lesion is seen in the pelvis posterior superior to the uterus. It is predominantly T1 hyperintense with hypointense uh, uh, areas within. On T2 fat saturated images, the T1 and T2 hyperintense areas show complete signal drop, as we can see here. So, final diagnosis is mature ovarian teratoma. Ovarian dermoid cysts are the most common uh, ovarian neoplasm. They are mature teratomas arising from the germ cells and can therefore contain elements of all three germ layers, uh, such as epidermis, hair, calcified bone, teeth fat and soft tissue. Often the tumor is asymptomatic and is uh, de uh, detected in, uh, incidentally or is associated with non-specific symptoms. Over lifetime, malignant transformation occurs in about 1-2% to 2 of cases, mostly towards squamous cell ca carcinoma. This can be prevented by ovarian cyst uh, cystectomy. Case 2. A 19-year-old female came to the Department of Radio Diagnosis with irregular menses, menorrhagia and abdominal pain. Her CRP was also raised. Imaging findings, TVS uh, uh, ultrasound shows a unilocular cystic uh, lesion with papillary projections uh, but no other solid components. Uh, arrow denotes the posterior shadowing, this. CT findings, contrast enhanced CT demonstrates a non-enhancing cystic lesion without internal septation arising from right ovary. Here. Patient underwent laparoscopic removal of the lesion and HP confirmed the lesion as ovarian serous cystidinoma. Epithelial neoplasms of ovary account for 60% of all ovarian tumors and 40% of benign tumors. 
दे क्लासीफाई एज बिनाइन बॉर्डर लाइन और मेलिग्नेंट ट्यूमर्स ओवेरियन सिस्टिडिनोमस आर कॉमन बिनाइन एपिथीलियन न्यूप्लाजम विच कैरी एन एक्सीलेंट प्रोग्नोसिस द टू मोस्ट फ्रिक्वेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सिस्टेडिनोमस आर सीरियस एंड म्यूसिनस सिस्टेडिनोमस वेर एज एंडोमेट्रॉयड एंड क्लियर सेल सिस्टेडिनोमस आर रेयर डिस्पाइट एडवांस इन इमेजिंग स्टडीज द एस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ ए डेफिनेटिव डायग्नोसिस ऑफ सिस्टेडिनोमस इज प्राइमरिली बाई हिस्टोपैथोलॉजिकल एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ द सर्जिकल स्पेसिमेन केस थ्री ए नाइनटीन ईयर ओल्ड फीमेल केम टू द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेडियो डायग्नोसिस विद इरेगुलर मैंसिस मेनोरेजिया एंड एबडोमिनल पेन हर सी आर पी वॉज ऑल्सो रेज इमेजिंग फाइंडिंग्स देर इज ए मल्टी सेपरेटेड सिस्टिक लीजन सीन इन द राइट ओवरी हेयर द लीजन डज नॉट शो एनी वेस्कुलरिटी ऑन डॉक्टर स्टडी सीटी फाइंडिंग्स आर देर इज ए लार्ज नॉन एनहेंसिंग मल्टी सेपरेटेड राइट ओवेरियन लीजन हेयर Fairly well-defined heterogeneous but predominantly T2 hyper intense lesion is seen in the pelvis posterior superior to the uterus. Here, it is predominantly of T1 hyper intense with hypo intense areas within. These are the hypo intense areas. Patient underwent laparoscopic removal of the lesion and HPE confirmed the lesion as ovarian mucinous cystadenoma. benign mucinous cystadenomas account for 80% of ovarian mucinous tumors mucinous cystadenomas of ovary occur mainly in uh, during the third to sixth decade but they uh, may also occur in younger case 4 a 33 year old single nullipara with a 3 year history of uh, recurrent abdominal pain abdominal swelling and difficulty in breathing symptoms initially began as uh, lower abdominal pain with associated dysmenorrhea and heavy menstrual bleeding history of dyspareunia could not be ascertained because she was not sexually active imaging findings there was a well defined right ovarian lesion uh, with fine ground glass debris and no vascularity on color doppler study this is ground glass appearance a large uh, pelvic cystic lesion uh, with thin wall and uh, homogeneous t1 hyper intense signal and hypo intense on t2 uh, t2 shading sign is seen here the lesion is hyper intense on t1 and uh, shows shading on t2 on the basis of imaging findings the final diagnosis was ovarian endometrioma the diagnosis was confirmed on histopathological correlation endometriosis in Uh, including ovarian endometrioma is typically associated with chronic pelvic pain dys dysmenorrhea dyspareunia and infertility tvs uh, scan plays an important role in the initial evaluation of women with suspected ovarian endometriosis they help in differentiation between ovarian endometrioma and other benign adnexal masses b mode ultrasound with the use of mean gray value has a sensi sensitivity of 80% and specificity of 91% in differentiating endometriomas from other unilocular cysts ovarian endometriomas have a typical appearance of homogeneous low level internal uh, echos and thick walls on ultrasound scan ct scan is said to be a non reliable imaging modality for the diagnosis of endometrioma and endometriosis the features are non specific and often mimic benign and malignant ovarian tumors MRI is considered the best diagnostic imaging uh, technique for ovarian endometriosis. The shading sign seen on T2 weighted images is pathognomonic of ovarian endometrioma as seen in our case. Fluid fluid levels may also be noticed within the cyst. Therefore on T2 weighted images endometriomas show a gradual loss of signal within the lesion with low signal intensity till complete uh, signal void in the declivious portion shading. Whereas endometriotic cysts show high signal intensity on t1 weighted images discussion ovarian masses present a sp uh, special diagnostic challenge when imaging findings cannot be categorized into benign or malignant pathology ultrasound ct and mri are uh, currently used to evaluate ovarian tumors ultrasound is the first line of imaging investigation for suspected adnexal masses color doppler ultrasound helps in diagnosis identifies vascularized components within the mass CT is commonly performed in preoperative evaluation of suspected ovarian malignancy but it exposes patient to radiation 
uh, when the usg findings are non diagnostic or equivocal mri can be a valuable problem solving tool also uh, useful to give surgical planning information ultrasound uh, is a primary imaging modality for identifying and characterizing ovarian masses ultrasound is a relatively simple and non invasive diagnostic uh, method and provides cl clinicians with useful information relevant for determining the optimal management strategy for a given patient lots of data have uh, demonstrated that ultrasound can accurately characterize uh, characterize about 90% of adnexal masses these are the references thank you